Wait until you hear Swalwell, what this Democrat guy says. Of California. Uh, so you've talked a lot about Russia, but you've also become known for your position on guns. And you're one of the very few Democrats, I think, who's been honest about that. Um, you say that the U.S. government ought to ban a certain species of rifle. You wrote a piece about this. It's not a secret of you you have. You wrote it in USA Today. And you say this. We should ban possession of military-style semi-automatic assault weapons. We should buy back such weapons from all who choose to abide by the law. And we should criminally prosecute any who choose to defy it by keeping their weapons. So we should confiscate uh, this entire class of firearms. What do you think would happen if the federal government tried to do that? Well, Tucker, did you read the op-ed? I did. I just quoted from it extensively. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not calling for a confiscation. What I'm saying is we should invest in a buyback, that we should restrict any weapons that aren't bought back to gun clubs, hunting clubs, shooting ranges, keep them there where it's safe and not on our streets. And if you were caught, just like if you were caught you know, with drugs or anything else, if they had probable cause to go into your home and you had one of these weapons, yeah, you'd be prosecuted. I'm not, I've never suggested sending troops okay, out I'm going to quote an old friend of mine called Eric Swalwell. He's yeah. a congressman yeah. from California on the Intel Committee. Good can guy. you get back in the yeah. screen, please? I'm just going to quote yeah. once again. And we should buy back those weapons, yeah. and I'm quoting, criminally prosecute all, uh, criminally prosecute any who refuse to, uh, who d choose to defy it by keeping their weapons. So you're going to prosecute people who don't give up their weapons. That's gun confiscation. If they're, if they're caught with them, yeah. Not, we're not sending <laughs> troops, with we're not sending okay. troops door to door. So, but what do, you think, what, what do you think would happen? I mean, do you think, because, of course, the overwhelming majority of those people are law-abiding, have committed no crime, have no plans to commit a crime. You would instantly turn them into felons. Do you think that you would have a civil war? Are you worried about that? What do you think will happen if we do nothing? You think more kids will be killed? I'm not. I'm not. You think I'm not more arguing concerts will be shut up? More I'm churches not, I'm will not arguing about lose parishioners? Doing nothing. I'm critiquing your yeah. very specific suggestion for yeah. what we. And you're a lawmaker, so it, yeah. this, this is meaningful what you said. And I, I trust the American people are law abiding, that their weapons could be bought back, or keep them at a gun club. You don't have to give it up. But what if you, you want to keep club? them in your home? And you've done nothing wrong. Yeah. You haven't hurt anybody. And now you just made them into yeah. felons. Yeah. No, it, there's no troop roundup here, Tucker. Right, I, but I, you I, just made them into felons. You just said that yeah. in the piece. Look, I'm not, I'm not making this up. But you wrote that. So what well, do you I'm, think? Like, if, if I'm a gun owner, and I have one of the weapons that you say should be banned, and I don't feel like yeah. bringing it to a gun club. I feel like keeping it in my bedroom closet. I don't think you're giving the American people enough credit that they'd be law abiding and that they would, that they would obey you. Well, not or else obey. they'd be criminally prosecuted. No, I'm suggesting we have a conversation in Congress and pass a ban like this. Would they would be obeying the law. Would you apply as written by you? Yeah, it would have to be passed by the Would you apply these standards to yourself and your fellow members of Congress? Absolutely. Okay, so yeah, that, Not you, cops, though. I don't think cops should oh, be outgunned. The, so your bodyguards could have any kind of guns. I don't have they, bodyguards, yes, Tucker. Yes, you do. I was there today. No, no, you have no, many bodyguards. I don't I have bodyguards. there today. I don't personally have bodyguards. Oh, but you're surrounded by them. Yeah. You're trying to Cops. buy bodyguards that I pay for. And they're they police officers. Kind of, they're sworn. They're trained. They're there to protect you. They're and they shouldn't bodyguards. be outgunned. And that's the problem. I have two no, no, brothers who are cops. Hold on, hold on. My dad was a cop. They're outgunned right now. But your right bodyguards now. would get to have any kind of gun they want to protect you, but I wouldn't I have... I want them to protect me. I want them to protect the people who are getting shot up no, in the schools. No, but that's and... not... No, Capitol Police exists yeah. to protect you. No. I'm, this so, isn't about Capitol Police. Well, no, but it is, though. It's not the kids who are dying, Tucker. it's about me and my... schools. They're afraid to go to school tomorrow. They hear a book drop. No, no, but hold on. They think a shooter's walking into the classroom. Don't they deserve to be protected? They do. And, and so let's family, protect them. Amen. But why, do family, need, why do you need an, AR, an AR-15? I don't know why you need to protect one. your house. You have them in your in your building where you work. Police you officers. Have, no, your bodyguards. No, don't denigrate no. the cops. I'm not Tucker. denigrating them. They work I'm hard. Glad they're there. They no. shouldn't be outgunned, and they're outgunned right no, now. Wait a second. I went to the funeral for four police officers right. who were killed you, by an assault you weapon. You don't actually care more than I do. We care the same. So it's not a question of okay. who cares. Do you think cops should have guns? I think that your bodyguards should have the same guns that I have to protect my family. They're, they're America's bodyguards, Tucker. They're not. They're Don't yours. denigrate them like that. I'm not they denigrating work, They work too oh, really? hard. Can they come to my house to out... protect my wife while I'm at work? If you call the police, yeah. Oh, but can I have a Capitol yeah. Hill? When you go to work, they they're hang out and protect the, you. They're protect, protecting the constituents oh, no, they're protecting who come you, in. actually. I don't have to. So why not? Tucker. Hold on. Why shouldn't my wife have the yeah. same firearm at home that your yeah. bodyguards use to protect you? Is that fair or is that unfair? Why is That's it unfair? That's a ridiculous argument. Oh, why? It's absolutely ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? Because you're more important than me? No, I don't. I, you are trying no, to. No, I'm asking a sincere here. question. Why should you get to protect yourself? Our cops should not be guns? outgunned. No, period. I'm talking, not our cops. I'm talking our military your cops. shouldn't be outgunned. No, your cops, period. Capitol Hill Police, yeah. have 
Why don't we just limit them to the same Tucker, gun I can have at home? Why can't, why can't we, have we a do real that? conversation about this? This is a real nonsense. conversation. Why is it nonsense? You're putting your life. You're above calling my cops family. bodyguards, and that's no, disrespectful I'm to not them. Calling all cops Police week was last week. They were all here I'm in town calling your honoring cops. the fallen, I'm and you're calling, calling them bodyguards. No, I'm calling your my bodyguards. My dad was a cop. He's not a bodyguard. No, no. He protects you, people. Do you and that's ridiculous. Do members of Congress have bodyguards? I noticed when I see you're calling a cop a bodyguard, man. That is so disrespectful. They are. No, and the government pays for them. They protect the you. But in your today. kids, no, they're in your and our office. families. They, can I get the same in my and office? They shouldn't be out Taxpayers gunned. can pay for it. They shouldn't be out gunned. They're, they're out gunned today. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Um, if I walk down the hallway in yeah. front of your office, you have officers there, paid for by taxpayers. Great guys. I'm not attacking them, obviously, and I think they I watch think this channel. Thank you for that. They're not at all. I'm merely saying that you have better protection than I do. And you're saying that my family doesn't deserve to have a certain species of weapon. You get to decide what we can protect ourselves with, but you're not going to in any way take the ability to protect you away from the Capitol Hill police. I'm saying that every police officer in America today is outgunned. For their safety and for yeah. the safety of the people they protect, <laughs> I can we shouldn't have assault weapons. Right. You just don't want to apply yeah. the rules to yourself. I get it. I wouldn't either. You know what I mean? I care about protecting my family. Well, let's protect the kids first. That seems yeah, like the first place to start. Yeah, my kids in my house. I agree. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.